So in today's session, we're going to demystify one subject. Can ferrite cause increased emissions? Here is our setup. We have a display, we have a laptop. Currently, the laptop is output uh, signals to display. And we have an HDMI um, link, which is about 1.5 meter long. For 1.5 meter long, signals between 100 and 250 megahertz tend to radiate quite a bit, simply because of this cable is a half wavelength antenna. As you can see, we have an RF current probe again connected to our spectrum analyzer. So right now, I'm measuring noise. Uh, traveling on this HDMI link. As we can see from the results showing on the screen of the spectrum analyzer, we have a broadband noise. On top of that, we also have two very uh, distinguished uh, spikes. Right? We have a display line, which is about 27 dB microvolts. This is the limit we're trying to meet, which means if we bring down the noise down below this limit line, then the noise level is acceptable. So as you can see right now, uh, you know, both these spikes exceed the limit line. So we are trying to suppress these two noise, okay? So if I max hold this signal and we save this as our reference. Since the noise is between 100 megahertz and 300 megahertz, we know that um, the best ferrite core choice would be a 31 material, which gives you maximum impedance at 250 megahertz-ish. So very effective, should be very effective to suppress the noise. But right now, we have no knowledge where does the noise come from. Do these noises come generate from uh, the display or they are actually generated from the laptop or could be the adapter? So a very uh, quick troubleshooting way, uh, skill is that I can simply clamp the ferrite core at one end of the cable and see the results. So the first place I wanted to try is at the back of this display. As you can see, the display has already got a ferrite uh, basically embedded in this HDMI link. So that's the place I want to place this material here. So now I clamped uh, a 31 material ferrite core and I checked my result. As you can see, the broadband noise was now is now brought down. However, as the uh, the purple line shows, this particular frequency, which is just about two hundred ten megahertz ish, is is still very high, and and is clearly was not um, brought down. Okay, so that's indicating that this ferrite is not effective bringing down these two noise. These two are still over the limit, so not successful. Okay, then I can remove this. Right. I can remove this ferrite. And then the next place I wanted to try is at the other end of this HDMI link. As you can see, we also have a ferrite here. So that's where I'm going to place the ferrite. So I place the ferrite here. Now we check the results. Okay, so if I get rid of uh, our in, uh, initial uh, scanning results, and just checking the uh, purple line. As we can see, this the first spike was definitely brought down below the line. The second is just over the limit by probably two or three dB. So that's a good sign, right? That's, that means the when we place ferrites on this end of the cable, it works. Of course, we know that um, the ferrite often works the best if you have multiple turn uh, going through the core. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna do a two turn ferrite configuration at this end. So now we have two turn configuration and we check the result again. So as we can see, the first spike was brought down even further. The second is still a little bit over the limit. So I'm using again, another 31 material put in here. Now we check the results. Okay, this is very interesting. The two spikes were definitely brought down below the limit line. So if I do a max hold, we can see these are definitely now below the limit. However, very, very interesting. 
we had this frequency all of a sudden exceeding the limit line. This was not there previously, but now it was there. If, if I enable our previous scanning result view, you can see previously this is just on the limit line. However, now we have about 10 dB increase, 10 dB increase, right? So what caused this noise increase? Clearly it's because we applied these ferrites here. But how come? Since ferrites are very resistive, are lossy components, they're supposed to bring down noise, not increase noise. But clearly, as we have seen in this case, we brought down the noise at certain frequency, but instead, other frequency noise increase. So there are many ways of explaining this. I think the simplest way is that, as we explained before, it's all relating to this cable, right? And noise, for noise to travel on this cable, you need to meet conditions, right? And often the condition is you have low impedance at this end, low impedance on this end, that's a half wavelength cable, or you could have a condition that you have low impedance at this end, high impedance, uh, at this end, that become, this same cable becomes a quarter wavelength. So in this case, for these two noises, what happened is we increased the impedance at this end of the cable link, so that the boundary conditions is now broken, which means this end of the HDMI cable all of a sudden has a very large impedance, okay? When you break that boundary conditions, these two noises was brought down, however, for this frequency, right, for this frequency, which exceeds limits, what happened is, as the impedance at this end of the cable increases, this end, at this end of the cable, the impedance relatively becomes much smaller, okay? So if you look at it, if we hadn't had these cables in at the end of the HDMI cable, then uh, then this is low impedance. This perhaps is also low impedance for this noise. So that's the noise cannot easily travel. But now we had a lot more impedance at this end, which means this end is low impedance. This end is high impedance for this uh, noise. So that the noise is now happily traveling because this um, a quarter wavelength uh, boundary condition is now established. To, to prove this, it's very easy. All we need to do is, again, using the same ferrite core, but now we we'll just need to place again on this end. So now I place the 31 material at this end of the cable. What it does is now, this end all of a sudden becomes high impedance as well, right? Before it was low impedance, but now it is high impedance. So now, again, we have a high impedance, high impedance. Let's check the results. So if I use channel four, now I do a clear and a max hold. Now, you can see we had, again, these two were still below the limit line, but this one was brought down by one to, I think it's about 15 dB, 15 dB. Right? This spike might just be due to an ESD event or whatever, um, but you can see this is the frequency we're interested, and it is now below the limit line. So if I view it and bank this. So now with this new configuration, all the noise was brought down below the limit line, okay? So it is not a miss that when you apply ferrite, you increase the noise. Everything has an explanation. Hopefully we explain this in the most, in the simplest way that you can understand. Thank you.